my situation before coming to Hosea Feed the Homeless, I had a full-time job at a corporate, at American Honda, I did Alpharetta. I had a house. Mm -hmm. I was paying rent, and the job paid well, and, and some kind of way was in the economy, just downside. I did okay. the picking, I did the counting, lawyer, I did a lot of counting of parts. I picked the parts, I closed out the dealer's packages, and I shipped. So I, I did a lot of things, They, you know, anything that they needed me to do within, mm -hmm. you know, helping out. So that's what I was to help out. So I left. And I, it was so strange to where I, let, I was let go of on the 4th. And by the 7th, I had to move out of my apartment because I had no income to pay for the apartment. So I had to find a place to stay. And so it happened that my son, he stayed on the other side of town, which is off Cleveland. And I was telling him that I need money, you know, to help us move, or I need money for rent, or we got to have to find, it was me and my two daughters, to mind you, that, you know, they let me go of my job, and I needed a place to stay, and he said, Mama, he said, you can come over here. And so all the things that I had to pack up, I had to rent a U-Haul with the money that I had, and pack it to the other side of town, which is the west side of town, you know, I had to go over there and we stayed with my son. So let go January the 4th, moved January the 7th, and I think it might have been January the 8th that I stepped in Hosea. I could not, I'm not, I've always worked, so for me to sit at home, I could not just sit there and not do anything, and I had the need to just volunteer. I wanted to do something. I just can't sit at home and just wait on it to come to me. So I had the need to go out there and give something. I came to Hosea to volunteer with, with whatever I had, and that was just my time. I had no time to do anything else, so I would give Hosea Feed the Homeless my time to volunteer with the food pantry, with whatever they asked me to do. I actually did not want to ask for service because I didn't feel like I was that needed, that needy. You know, mm -hmm. I, I felt like, I, you know, he's blessed me so far, I could, I'll make it, you know. I felt like my situation wasn't as bad as anybody else's situation. There was all, they always say that there's some that are worse off than me. And I've always managed, so I felt like I could manage. The first service that I got was um, Georgia Works Program. They offer the Georgia Works Program if you're so many weeks within your unemployment. So I signed up for that with with Miss Sarah Tanay. And she was in charge of that. So that helped me to generate a little bit more income while I was doing training at Hosea Feed the Homeless. Then I was, I uh, received um, another thing, since I didn't have a place to stay, I was referred by Ms. White to the Gateway Program, which was HPRP, and they helped with providing of housing. And with that program, with the housing, they provide with the utilities and help with the rent until I can get on my feet. With saving of money or whatever income that I provided, they, they would help me to generate that as well. I can look for work mm -hmm. and have the income to still have housing. So I can take the next step in being stable. 